Hello everybody, what's going on, and welcome back to their edition of Flick News, the show here on Flick Direct, where I give you guys the latest app and entertainment news throughout the week, and then I give you all my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host Austin Putnam, and this week, guys, was a pretty supercharged show in terms of, well, superhero movie news. We got some great casting updates in terms of people that are coming to either the MCU, the DCU, a composer joining a certain franchise, but unfortunately, I must start off this week's show with a very, very unfortunate bit of, let's just say, a path of an actor. Starting off this week's news, I must unfortunately discuss the passing of, let's just say, one of the greatest actors of all time, and that person is, and it still kills me, like, I'm getting emotional talking about it, and that is none other than Carl Weathers. If you guys don't know who Carl Weathers is, I mean, if you're a massive person or a massive fan of film, there are at least three specific things I'm thinking of right now that establish Carl Weathers as a legend in the film world. But I must also say that he was a great director in the TV department with episodes of The Mandalorian. He did great episodes of The Mandalorian, by the way. Like In terms of directing, he was incredible. In terms of the film world, there are three particular roles that I know everybody is going to say, oh, of course. Carl Weathers was incredible. First of which, Happy Gilmore was one of them. Two, Predator. And three, by far his most famous role in film, at least as far as I'm aware. And that is Apollo Creed in the Rocky franchise. Carl Weathers' Apollo Creed, I remember the first time I saw Rocky, even Rocky 2, and it blew my mind. The first time I saw Predator, he was incredible in it. Him and Happy Gilmore, so my I mean, it's my favorite Adam Sandler movies. And like I said before, his work on The Mandalorian is just absolutely incredible, to say the least. Carl Weathers was a brilliant actor. He was a terrific actor. He had a lot of range as an actor. And knowing that he's gone, it just still shocks me in no way. To his closest friends and his family members, the world lost someone absolutely incredible. But his legacy will most definitely live on. Absolutely, and guess what? Having gained one heck of an angel. Rest in peace, Carl Weathers. Let's go on to some more happy news, and this particular movie news bit got me smiling so freaking much. Let's talk about Sonic the Hedgehog 3, but one thing in particular, and that is an actor returning for their role. This person was rumored to have retired from acting for at least, I think, a quite a while now, but guys, as revealed that Jim Carrey will be coming back out of his retirement, at least as far as I'm aware, to return as Dr. Robotnik for Sonic the Hedgehog, through which is supposedly coming out this Christmas as far as I'm aware, or Christmas time of next year, which if they get it in this year, I'll be very, very surprised because there's so much animated work they have to do, but still, nonetheless, guys. Yes, Jim Carrey has seemingly come out of retirement for one last role, and I guess that's his role as Dr. Robotnik and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And honest to God, if this is his last film role, I think this is probably the best type of role he could go off on. I mean, because seriously, guys, Dr. Robotnik is essentially him homaging basically Ace Ventura. And Dr. Robotnik, that personality is absolutely perfect for that type of personality yes a short update but i still talk about nonetheless because it just excites me that jim carrey is coming back for one last time to play dr robotnik and sonic the hedgehog 3 cannot wait to see this movie it comes out i believe like i said either christmas time or around christmas time of this year or christmas time of next year very very excited and continuing on with casting news Let's go on to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in particular with the TV stuff. I don't know about you guys, but when it came to the Netflix TV Marvel stuff, one of my favorite shows of that era was Jessica Jones. I absolutely loved that show. Now, I personally didn't finish it. I only got through seasons one, and I almost finished season two, but I should really get back onto it. I absolutely loved that show from my song. Kristen Ritter was absolutely brilliant in the role of Jessica Jones. It seems that Kristen Ritter 
might be returning for her role as Jessica Jones in the Daredevil show Born Again, which makes me think, are they going to make another season of Jessica Jones? I mean, if so, I am absolutely sold and it just makes me want to go back and re-watch Jessica Jones and, you know, finish everything of Jessica Jones. Kristen Ritter played that role so beautifully and if there is a chance, I mean, I know this was just a tease, but if there is a chance that Kristen Ritter is coming back as Jessica Jones, I am all in. And if it is true, I can't wait to see what she brings back or what she brings to to this role once again for the MCU, specifically for the TV era. And I'm hoping that at some point a movie is made of Jessica Jones because that's the type of film that would absolutely rule. When it comes down to the final news story this week, let's jump into the DCU because there are two big stories, two big updates for the DCU. The announcement of a composer for Superman Legacy and the announcement of casting for a particular character in the DCU. I'm going to first talk about the announcer for the composer for Superman Legacy and the composer for Superman Legacy is John Murphy. If you guys don't know who John Murphy is, John Murphy is one incredible composer. I mean, for those of you who are very well versed in the horror genre, his theme in the house in a heartbeat and 28 days later and weeks later is one of the greatest and also one of the scariest tracks I've ever heard in a horror film. But in terms of his comic book film scores, he not only scored the Suicide Squad, but also Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And John Murphy will be composing Superman Legacy. And all I know is this, I can wait to hear what John Murphy is going to do with the theme with Superman's theme. And apparently, according to James Gunn, he is already tirelessly working to be composing music to be playing on set of the movie. Stepping in the shoes of John Williams is no easy task. I mean, that's filling in some big shoes. But you know what? John Murphy is an incredible composer. And if anybody can step into those shoes, if it's not Michael Giacchino, if it's not Hans Zimmer, if it's not, um, uh, why are you not thinking right now? I mean, there are a lot of great choices to who could be composing the score for Superman Legacy. John Murphy is an incredible choice, and I can't wait to see what he brings to his role of composer. Cannot wait. The final update for now for the DCU in terms of casting has been announced, and that is the casting of the role of Supergirl. Now, those of you who are wondering who has been cast as Supergirl, Supergirl will be played by... Millie Alcock. For those of you who don't know who she is, if you've seen her in House of the Dragon, that is all I'm going to say. If you have not seen her performance in House of the Dragon, I highly suggest you watch that show because Millie Alcock is a brilliant actress. She is so talented. If anyone can bring the versatility and the raw vulnerability to Supergirl, Millie Alcock is a brilliant choice. You guys have no idea how excited I am for Millie Alcock. I could just what you bring to the role for Supergirl. Bring it on. Up, up, and away. I am so excited to see what you do for this role. And that is going to wrap things up for this week's show. Please comment on us below starting off when it comes to Carl Weathers. What is your favorite performance from him? How do you all feel about Jim Carrey returning to the role of Dr. Robotnik vs. Sonic the Hedgehog 3? And when it comes to all the casting updates and all the superhero movie news, how do you all feel about Christian Ritter possibly coming back as Jessica Jones? How do you all feel about John Murphy composing the score for Superman Legacy? And how do you all feel about Millie Alcock portraying Supergirl? Let us know below. I hope you all enjoyed this week's news. If so, visit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for the latest new show goes live. If you guys want to see your previous two new shows, please click it right there or right there. And of course, until next week's new show goes live, we'll see you all next week. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Hit like, smash subscribe, and get notified for whenever reviews, interviews, and news go live.